back to the garden, guys. Today, I'm going to be planting up, you see that? It's a honeyberry. There's a Mrs. Honeyberry and a Mr. Honeyberry. So this required um, pollinators. So that's why I ended up having to get two. Okay, here's what it says about the honeyberry. It says you may know them as a blue honeysuckle or honeyberry, but whatever you call it, it's a no nonsense fruit that has few insect and disease pests and requires little effort. I love it, all of that I love. It says the honeyberry is exceptionally winter hardy Plants will overwinter in temperatures as low as 40, minus 45 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit right off the top of my head. Um, unlike any other crop, honeyberries produce fruit as early as the first season, as early as mid-June. Well, I don't know that that's gonna work for me considering it's mid-May and I'm just now planting it. Um, it says clumps of large, plump, deep bluish purple berries are the first fruit crops to ripen each season, being earlier than strawberries by a few weeks. So I'm thinking um, this may apply for next year, the next season. You know, like I said, I'm just now putting this in. So um, it says they're delicious eaten fresh, made into smoothies, ice cream, jams, jellies, pies, wine, frozen and wonderful when preserved for winter months. So, um, I'm gonna give these a try. Let's see what it says about planting. It says on a broad range of soil types, it says they prefer locations to be in deep sandy or loamy soils, which are well drained. Hmm, all right. Well, I'm going to put my, in a pot so for the first um, couple of years and see how well it does. I don't wanna put it directly in the ground yet. So I have two pots that I'm going to put each of them in. So that's what's on the agenda today. Mr. and Mrs. Honeyberry. All right, let's get it.
All right, guys, it's me using uh, the fast forwarding option here because pretty much it's me doing the same thing that I did when I planted the first berry, the Mr. Honeyberry, and I just, you know, thought to save time, I would go ahead and fast forward through this. I finished up by adding a petunia and a dianthus to each pot of the honeyberry. So I'm hoping that these do well and they can produce some fruit for me next year in the garden. All right guys, thanks for watching.